Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy's champ. I'm here again, once again, with another video. Let's break it down. Um, I just did like Cloud 805 and F Champ. That's me, and a few of his matches with Ryan LV. So that's coming down the road with the with the, with the pipeline. Um, I'm pro when you guys watch this, I'll probably be in Asia already. So don't worry, I'll still be producing more of these ones. It's pretty fun just to have like a Marvel hub, just like all the history, all the games, you know. It's just, I want it just to be all in my channel, you know. I just love that game. And um, yeah, I'll be trying to post more different games and more, more modern ones as well. Um, but most people, they really like these videos, which I actually still do as well. Like actually any, any year of Marvel is always fun to break it down because, you know, it's like you're breaking down the decisions with the current meta during that time, right? Which is pretty fun. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to my members, you know, Tom G, um, Nether, LJ, you guys are awesome. Thanks for supporting your boy. You guys, it's not too late to be a member of the channel. Okay, if you guys love Marvel, please become a member. Okay, instead of like subbing on Twitch, it's better here. Okay, because this is consistent. This is daily, bruh. We got daily vids, dude. You haven't missed a beat. You haven't missed a beat in like, six weeks i think yeah six weeks straight but yeah let's break okay so this match by the way i believe this is loser semis i think l winner of this advances to losers finals to fight apology man i believe um yeah so let's go watch this real quick um this is a pretty crucial one because i'm sitting in the grand finals um and i was hoping to fight Apology Man because Apology Man is a loser's finals and I just beat him right like one of the videos that I was that I did for this channel was me versus Apology Man. I was like he's my training partner so I was hoping that I fight him. Okay, um, that would be my easiest matchup despite him being so good and that he could definitely beat me. But I'm not. These guys can definitely beat me as well. But during this time, brief history lesson like just for you guys. During this time, I was talking shit on Twitter. I was saying, like, this is so free. I can't believe I'm going to go to this tournament. I was talking shit. I was like, I'm going to go to this tournament, collect all the money, and I'm just going to body everybody. There's no Jay Wong here. There's no Chris G. This shit's free. Mind you, this tournament was not free. But I had to just pump it up like that just to get everybody going. Just to get everybody going. Because you guys all know, like, Marvel 3 is never free. Despite... I'm not there despite, like, Chris G or Justin is not there. It's never free to win a fucking goddamn Marvel 3 tournament. It's just too fucking hard. Look at the killers that was here. Ryan OV, Cloud Aero 5, Apology Man, SBK, Clockwork, like, Sack Tap, Ligers Priest. Everybody's there. It's insane. This is SCR. It's one of the main, main events of the year, right? So, it's never free. So, let's go ahead with the match. Okay, I'll be talking too much. All right, first game. This team, Clockwork's team, definitely gets bodied by Cloud's team. Point character war. Okay, the thing is, the mid game, the mid game, Clock can hang because you have Doom Strider a little bit, but the Strider anchor can stop the Dark Virgil or in the, in the end. So I would say that Strider, Strider can definitely neutralize Virgil. The thing is with Cloud's team. His Virgil is secondary, right? Because his Dante is so special that he can definitely throw him in the back. Doesn't really matter. It's just as good as his Virgil because his Cloud is so amazing. So let's see what happens here. First game. Alright. Oh man, this is a GG. Oh no, he drops it. Whoa. Okay, wake up C. Uh, I didn't like that sword super there at all. Because if you think about it. Can I rewind this better? Let me see. Okay, three second rewind. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Alright. In this situation, you don't necessarily have the swords. Because your doom just came out. You don't really get a lot of opportunities with that. I feel like Devil Trigger or just Judgment Cut will be better. 
right? There's no buster shot yet, nothing. Like, and you sword right away. And when you sword, what do you gain? You gain, like, a potential mix. And you get a free assist call afterwards, right? In a judgment cut. I mean, a uh, round trip. But thing is, now it's gone. Sorry about that. The video is quite corrupted. Okay, like, see? See, now when this gambu happens, you're done. You can't really win neutral anymore. You have rocks. You're not going to be able to con compete with the um, actual with the actual um, durability war. Okay, you have to take a risk like that. Okay. See, GG. This is what I'm saying. But the decision that you make when to use your bar, what you do in the first 5 seconds, 10 seconds of the game, will definitely affect you. And what does that happen? Like, oh, fuck, man. Zero is so cheap. Just one shot me. I understand he's so cheap. He's probably the second first best character in the game. But in that one, that's kind of like your fault, right? Okay. Safe mix. Okay. I love that he backed up there. Punish. Okay. All right. He didn't punish a strider. I guess he doesn't have to. Okay. See, this is the mid game. See how, how like he can like stall a little bit? The problem is, if Cloud plays it right, you're never really gonna hit zero, and then you hit him twice! <laughs> oh my god, let's watch how did that how did that materialize? Okay, okay, okay. He has a buster shot. He gets hit here. Which is this is standard because he tried to dash forward to get it out to, to get to the other side, right? Okay, he escapes. It's too late now. He doesn't have buster shot yet, right? It's blue. Boom, he gets hit by the missile. Strider hits. So I guess it's somewhat earned. But it kind of worked out, right? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Plasma beam. He gets a real incoming here. Hard to block. Ooh, hard to block and you get grabbed, bruh. So this is wrong. Again. Um, so you get the situation. You had three bars. You definitely can kill Dante. I mean, you can definitely kill Virgil. Clean. Clean. You can definitely kill him here with like two bars or one bar. With one, like, no, I guess you don't have extension anymore. So you get you have to use two bar or level three. And save your X factor for Dante. Right? So I'm not a fan of this part. Doing X factor. Because at this point, you can attack it, Strider to go do this. You have 50%. If he double jumps here, he can escape. Then now you're in kind of like somewhat in trouble. Right? I'm not a fan of this situation. I think the other one will be better. But this worked out. You know? I think the other one is better. Because you have to understand, any other Dante you could probably do that, but against Klaus Dante, you have to somewhat give the benefit of the doubt that he's really, really elite with him. That he is going to make you play neutral, and you have to defend a little bit, right? Damn. Okay. Okay. Guess wrong. He went for up back Helmbreaker. Zero did the up back. I mean, walk back, then up forward, so he's out of throw range. Then did you jump C, hit the start up the helm breaker, and that's all she wrote. Okay, holding the tag. Okay, makes sense. Save Dark Virgil. Clockwork's preparing for the end game. Sorry about the mic, by the way. I'll probably use a different mic on my next few videos. My old, my previous mics that you guys like. Um, I was packing, so most of my stuff were like not ready to go you know i was like you know what i need to make some videos to schedule them in the next few days gg so unfortunate guess wrong at the start see that you can complain about zero it's one of those what the fuck man that's one zero already i mean that's one one you see how hard I work in the other game? Okay, no more super. No again. Boom! Oh my God, what a whiff! Oh, that was huge. Let's let's see that again. Okay, so he tried to hit this guy with a stinger. 
then he can launch this guy if he blocks then h s h s h s right that's the kind of like what he was doing but virgil drop so that with with punish gg right so it was like it wasn't really trying to whiff but it was the character to drop okay that's the beauty about this game man there's like so many layers that you can pay attention to to kind of like improve your mind as a fighting game player like you know everything matters and and when you watch games like this you know like in general like at a high level you can kind of appreciate what they're doing and what happened you know the, here and there damn another zero match this is crazy gg so at this point clockworks all in he needs to get a right situation to kill 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 i wonder how is that gonna happen Oh, it's a gambu, GG. It's like it's so ridiculous, bruh. Let's see how you're gonna make this work. Tag in Dante. I tag in Dante here free. Hold the tag, bruh. Hold the tag. Oh, that was interesting. Punish. Damn. So my mindset here, right, with my team, I was like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna block this. Right? And do a falling C or a grab. If not, I don't care for it. It's fine. You can kill him. Or tag in Dante. And then win from an X Factor cancel in the ground. Or win with a checkmate. With like a super super later on. So there's like so many things you can do. Right? But then Cloud is so aware of that match. He's just punishing the air. So interesting. There's not much like... He can't really fuck that up anymore, right? The amount of lead that he got is so substantial. It's just this has been GG already when Strider came in in X Factor. Two one. Damn, is this what is this gonna be the one of the first ones that's like so bad of a set? And I thought it was gonna be a sick set. And I do not remember any of these things. Okay. See that was a good super. Okay. Why is that? Because you don't know if Zero was going to dash an H here. Dash, up, dash, H. So you have to do this, right? And since you just whipped your assist, which he changed to Plasm Beam, you can't. You don't have an assist call to cover you up. And he's going to have a buster shot later on. See, that's good. Okay. Okay, control. Now your goal here, if you're a Virgil player, is to get a situation for you to build bar. Oh my god, miss push block. So, if you think about it, this situation right here, he didn't really get hit, like, opened up like that. He, it was a, There's got to be a push block frame here. How do you... You can't fast forward, like, like that, I guess. Yeah, he just got hit right there. See, there was no counter hit there, too. But you shouldn't get hit like that. He was like trying to do a push block there, but the hit came out late and he just got smacked. Come on, dude. This is just terrible, man. Another zero game? I'm sorry, guys. That was sick. That was sick. Okay, let's see this. Oh my god, so don't think for a second that he reacted to just to teleport to teleport punish this. Okay, he was gonna teleport regardless, okay? What so that's not that's a part that I kinda like made it's quote unquote like that's the start of the sick, okay? This is sick. That is sick because these swords are inevitable to go forward and it's gonna stop whatever combo he does. To do a level 3, that was really sick. So this is sick. Okay, bro, it's like, That was ridiculous! How are you gonna win this? Cross up? Bruh. You are crazy if you ever block this shit. Oh my god, bro. See, this only crosses up on zero like this. On smaller cats. Because Magneto comes out higher in Phoenix. 
So they're gonna get this is where Magneto and Phoenix comes out around here. So this will always be the same side, right? But damn, on zero cross up, boom, clean, bruh. Mhm. Mm oh wow, he still has a window. He has to hit him twice versus one. Yep, don't matter. Okay, he's still alive. One, two, three. Oh my god! Cloud, bro! One, two, three! Look! Let's do one, two, three! Oh my god. One, two, three, bruh! Let's say one, two, three is ABC. Yep. See how, like, all that work the clock put in? It don't really matter because next hit wins. Oh my god! Convert! What the fuck did you just. Did Legion? Okay, that was not legit. Okay, guys. So this, you just do level 3, it's GG already, right? And he gets that. Because one, you have to do the uppercut. You have to do the uppercut. And he messed up the input. I guess uppercut is the pad. But yeah. You can see his face. You can see his face there. The cloud knew he fucked up. Yeah, he did level 3. So... Imagine, right? If you are clockwork in that situation, you gotta press the goddamn momentum because this guy is fucking on tilt. Okay, if you're cloud in that situation, your goal is like, <sighs> okay, okay, so it's all good. I lost that game. It's all good. Let's try to slow it down and just catch this guy in neutral. Let's see what happens. I do not remember. Okay. Done. TAC also? Oh my god, everything was right. T combo from a grab, you TAC. Kill zero. You can't drop this. Bruh, there's no. What? What the fuck was that combo, bro? Look at this. First of all, when you get that BB plasma beam, all you need to do is molecular shield up super DHC to Virgil. GG is a way easier combo. Clockwork drops the combo. For some reason, Cloud decides to level 1 X Factor in game 5, which is insane. So he's kind of like all in here that he knows that this guy is going to do a complete strength. But, in this situation, Clockwork still has a counter. He can do forward C and grab the X Factor cancel. So after the crouch light, if he does X Factor, you can do forward C. But during this time, he wasn't thinking about that because usually players can react on that at the very end of the game when the X factor option is so obvious or one of the main options that your opponent would have defensively. This is like the point character war, you're in momentum, so you're not thinking about that. But Cloud gets a happy boo-boo. Oh <sighs> my god. This is so bad, dude. I'm so mad right now. This could have been so much more better of a game. Look at this. Oh my god. Win condition. So when this drop happens, a party happens in your brain. Like, shit, I could have a Dark Virgil. I could have a Dark Strider. Fucking, if I kill Zero right now with my X Factor bullshit, Virgil coming in, he's gonna be free and incoming. It's gonna be two and one against my two characters versus Dante. Those are my ideas, you know? Like that. Let's see what happens. Damn! Oh my god, that's one of the worst! Why would you do that? That was so bad!
Okay. Remember what I told you guys earlier. At the end of the game, one of the main options that your opponent is looking for is your is your X Factor cancel defensively. What does this look like to you guys? Does this look like almost the end of the game? Panic situation? Right? So fucking suicide to do love low X Factor cancel against zero, mind you. But it's so bad. And post to Gembu too? Oh my god, bro. That is just suicide. That's like 25 bad decisions in a row. Okay. GG, bro. So bad. <sighs> Clockwork is so good. And I'm a huge fan of Clockwork. Man, that was a bad decision. GG. And this is the only thing I love about Clock, you know? Win or lose is just so, so sick. It's so nice. And you know what? I've always tried to talk shit to Clock, but he knows I'm just fucking around with him. He just never gets phased. And Clock has been to my house many times, so he's been a cool guy. I kick with him. He's a really, really nice guy. But god damn it, Clock, you fucked that up. And, you know, you got this guy, Cloud AO5. He's just too sick. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'll post another one. I um, hope you guys watch more of these things. And don't forget to subscribe. Be a member, member, member. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.